Well, following marathon negotiations between the PMNL and the PPP political parties, Pakistan's race to power, marred by widespread violence and allegations of foul play, finally seems to be reaching its conclusion. In the latest development, Pakistan's People's Party leader Asif Ali Zardari is reportedly poised to become the country's president for a second term. The news comes after the PMLN and the PPP reached an agreement to form the country's new government. Other parties in the newly announced six-party alliance include the MQMP and the PMLQ as well as the IPP and BAP. Before the announcement, the 35-year-old chief of the PPP, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, said that his party would support the Nawaz Sharif party or government uh, to elect its prime minister, though no formal announcement has been made, yet Shabazz Sharif reportedly remains the favourite for the post. However, responding to a question regarding the post of the president at a press conference on Wednesday evening, Putto said he wants his father, Asif Ali Zardari, to become the president because, and I quote here, the country is burning and if anyone can help put the fire out, it is Asif Ali Zardari, he said, isn't it? जहाँ तक मुस्लिम लीग नून की या किसी भी जमात की वसीर आजम की उम्मीदवार हैं, वो उन जमातों का फैसला है कि वो कौन अपने उम्मीदवार बनाएंगे। जहाँ तक पाकिस्तान पीपल्स पार्टी का इन इलेक्शंस में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल ओदे पे के कौन कौन हमारे उम्मीदवार होंगे, वो तो पार्टी का फैसला होगा। मेरा ख्वाहिश ये � تو اس الیکشن میں حصہ لے اور اس ملک کا صدر بنے The Pakistan media outlets are also reporting that the leadership of the PMNL has agreed to support Zardari for the post of president in return for PPP support for Shabazz Sharif as PM. If there are no more twists, the country will see a PMNL Prime Minister and a PPP President. Meanwhile, Imran Khan backed PTI has slammed Bilawal Bhutto and also has maintained that it is going to form Pakistan's next government. Khan Sahib has made this decision. We will try to make our government that we will make our government, whether it is in the Merkaz, whether it is in Punjab, whether it is in the KPK. We will make our small parties and make our government that we have our own mandate. But the Pakistan People's Party, the PML, the Pakistan People's Party, the Pakistan People's Party, اور ایم کیو ایم کے ساتھ ہم کسی قسم کا کوئی اتحاد نہیں کریں گے ہم انشاءاللہ تعالیٰ اپنی حکومت آپ بنائیں گے انشاءاللہ تعالیٰ اور اس میں ہم کامیاب ہو Well, for more on this, we're now being joined by Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik from Islamabad for the very latest on that. And, well, um, Anas, so more clarity on who will be the Prime Minister and possibly, of course, the President as well, even as Imran Khan claims victory all along. Certainly so. Today there was another interesting uh, twist of events where uh, uh, allegedly Imran Khan had said and authorized Asad Qaisar, his former Speaker of the Assembly, to go on and hold negotiations with the Pakistan People's Party. Now this comes 48 hours after Imran Khan had explicitly said that he would not want an alliance. Uh, about two hours later, uh, his own party men came out of the prison and said that Imran Khan has had a rethought and that there will be no negotiation. So there seems to be some confusion on the part of Imran Khan. Uh, but clarity here uh, in Pakistan, as the day sets as well, that that Shabazz Sharif may well just be the next Pakistani Prime Minister who would be joining the uh, uh, the, the league of the two times Prime Ministers. Uh, earlier in the league are Benazir Bhutto, the assassinated Prime Minister, and uh, 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 Nawaz Sharif as well, his own elder brother. Uh, what we're wait awaiting now is uh, essentially two things, the composition of the cabinet, that is number one, and number two, the date, uh, the date of the oath-taking of the newly sworn in uh, member parliaments. Uh, we're expecting that to happen between the 26th of February up until the 29th. Remember, 29th of February is the last date uh, uh, by virtue of constitution until when the caretaker government has to call in a session of the newly uh, elected assembly. Very right, right, Anas. Thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest updates there from Pakistan. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.